Okay, so with aftermarket HIDs, it's important to make sure you get enough power to the ballasts. In my case, going from the stock wire harness to the ballasts was not providing enough amperage to the ballast, so I got a wire relay harness that connects directly to the battery, which helps provide more power to the ballasts. Now, the reason I did that is because things like this happen. Now, this is the switch that turns the lights on and the brights on and off. I pull this forward and it turns it from, it toggles on and off. So, what I want to demonstrate is the problem. It's off, that should have been hyping like that. It's not supposed to turn off. Oh, only one light's on now. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how to make sure this doesn't happen. First off, it's an aftermarket kit in a vehicle that was never designed to do this in the first place. And the ballasts and the relay are a tricky and fickle thing at times. You'll notice I was purposely making it do that and you could probably hear what I was doing. It's doing this. It's going th I was cycling through it very fast. And that's what causes the problem. Now, if you take your time like that, you won't get this problem. You notice it goes cycles back and forth and I don't get the problem. Look at that. Everything works fine. Now, Let's simulate the problem again. Oh, too fast. Relay or something can't keep up with the ballasts and, and it causes problems. And this is the worst one. The lights, as you can see right here, should be on. And uh-oh, no lights at all. That's a bad situation. You have to cycle back through and you got to let them warm up again. But the point is, if your ballasts and HIDs are having a problem, it could be, one, not enough power going from the factory wiring harness to the ballasts. And two, you could be cycling too fast. The ballasts require a lot of power and HIDs do take time to warm up. During their warm-up process they use more power than when they are fully warmed up. So if you were to look at a chart of, of power consumption, we go from nominal, we start up, go really high, and then it would taper down. And actually HIDs are technically more efficient per lumen than their halogen brethren, uh, which is nice. And that's not to say that they're, they're gonna pull less power overall, it really depends on your setup, but uh, because of the way the ballasts have to provide and convert power from 12 volt to whatever voltage they're putting out, because HID high intensity discharge requires extremely high voltage, that's what the ballast is there to do. And when you cycle too quickly back and forth, it causes a problem with the ballasts not getting the correct amount of power, and then you get weird issues like this. But it's fixable, but it's human error at this point. A car that never came with HIDs and was never designed to use them must make sure that you don't do the thing that causes the ballasts not to function. Alternatively, if you got LEDs, uh, they shouldn't require the same kind of trickery, but it does also have something similar to a ballast. I think we just call them controllers because they are still converting electricity. Uh, in order to make the LEDs work. Whereas halogens in a car like this plug directly into the wiring harness. There's no extra step where electricity is converted to a, s a certain voltage or amperage, uh, etc. So, you know, aftermarket stuff, you know, it depends on your setup, but be careful. Uh, you, you do need to take into mind how, how what you're doing affects the components that are making the lights work.